I believe the importance of having a strategic plan and a budget and an annual view of your business is not because it just is something that business owners must do. It's really at a higher level forcing you to have a conversation, what I would call a growth conversation, that allows you to work out what you didn't do in the month before so that you don't do it again. So here we are in Dublin on the streets of Dublin, one of my favorite cities, ahead of uh, a strategic planning day tomorrow where I'm going to work with business owners and help them uh, to create a strategic plan to help them to hit their financial targets for the year. But what does it mean to have a target? Why do you need targets? Why do you need to create a budget? Why do you need to create um, a plan, a roadmap if you like, that helps you to achieve um, what you want from your business? Personally, I think that having uh, targets and having outcomes clearly identified, it does something that many businesses overlook and it facilitates what I would call a growth conversation. Now, what does that mean? Okay, for most people, they think um, I want to make $50,000 and that's my target. That's what I want to get. Now, they stare and they stare and they stare and they stare at that $50,000 target, hoping that it's going to come in. It's a little bit like me standing on the scales thinking, well, I'd like to be 200 pounds and I'm, you know, 205. No matter how many times I stare at the scales, with all the will in the world, I ain't gonna lose any pounds. Now, what it does do though, is it might prompt me to make some changes. That if I'm five pounds over, you know, my target is 200 pounds and I'm 205 pounds right now, it facilitates a conversation or a dialogue and it may cause me to make a change to the two things that would affect how much I weigh right now, which would be diet and exercise really think I need a plan and I don't really think I need the numbers and I'm not really ready for all these critical drivers and I don't really want to know what all of this stuff is. Just give me some more patience. If I ran a two-day workshop on how to get a load of patients for your practice, I'd have needed a room three times the size of this because everybody thinks that that's what they want. Now what we found is when people get more and more patients, it doesn't necessarily equal more and more money. I put it to you that you don't want patients, you want more profit. I said that from day one. Now to get more profit, there are multiple ways to achieve it in a business. And what must happen is you as a business owner must take responsibility for the fact that you figuratively are doing that every month. You're getting on the scales at 205. And if you said that you wanted to be 200, it forces you to have a conversation that says what usually is the case, didn't we do that is causing what didn't I do? Well, I didn't give up the pizzas I said I would. I didn't give up the beer. I didn't give up the chocolate. I didn't go for a run every day. I didn't do all of these things. And that's the reason I'm now five pound overweight. Well, as a business owner, if I check my P&L or I check my bank on the 1st of September and I ain't got the money that I wanted, I put it to you that it's something that you didn't do. Every single time I speak to a client who didn't make the money that they wanted, they always start by telling me what they did do. Very quickly, I say, I'm not really interested in what you did do, I'm interested in what you didn't do, because that's where the gap is. Most business owners struggle. They have a wish list of wanting to make a million dollars. But when we really break this down and create an actual financial plan with real targets that then we uh, measure and we monitor our performance as a business so that we know how far off we are. Let's say, for example, in August, I set a plan of $50,000 and I'm currently $35,000, with four days to go, I know that I'm $15,000 out. It means that I can change the performance of my business. It means that I can start to ask my staff, what do we need to do? Which patients haven't been back? Which patients have we not seen for over a year who used to come every week? Which patients dropped off this month? Why did they drop off? I can start to facilitate that type of growth conversation with my team. That is where your money is. That's where you're gonna get your breakthroughs. That's where you're gonna get your change in the uh, output, if you like, the performance of your team. You can't just expect that just because you wanna make a million dollars and just because you sat there and thought, I've started this business, I wanna make 100 grand or 250 grand or half a million. Just because you had a target on the wall that you'll actually achieve it if you don't change the performance. 
That's what's going to happen to 96% of businesses in December. They will pluck a number out of their stocking, hoping that they're going to get it in 2020 with no real roadmap, if you like. Dorothy, go back to The Wizard of Oz. You've all seen the movie. What did, if Dorothy wanted to get to Oz, what did she have to do? Follow the yellow brick road. What happened when she ventured off the yellow brick road? Problems. Witches and all sorts of shit going on off the yellow brick road. If she stayed on the yellow brick road, she made it to Oz. Essentially, we're going to build the yellow brick road today. You will decide this morning what Oz looks like, whether it's half a million, quarter of a million, whatever you want. And then we'll build the roadmap figuratively to get you there. That if you stay on it and you stay focused on it, I'm not going to promise you that you'll make the money. I'm going to promise you that you'll get closer than you would have done. Significantly closer. Some of you will smash through it, but at the very least you will get closer than you would have done without doing that type of, um, you know, without doing that type of exercise. So why do we need targets? Well, at a granular level, it's so that we know where we are. But at the strategic level, at the big picture level, at the level that I love to play at in business, what we need our targets for is so that we can uh, find out what the gap is. Ultimately, we need to bridge the gap. We're on a bridge right now here in Dublin. This bridge is very, very big. There's a big gap uh, across the river. Now, if we didn't have to jump across a big river, that bridge wouldn't need to be as big. And figuratively in business, it's exactly the same thing. What we need targets for and what we need to monitor our performance for is so we know how big that gap is. How big, figuratively, is the bridge that we need to walk across and how can we shorten that gap so that ultimately we can get our players, our team, our staff to change the performance. If my front desk isn't answering the phone in the way that I need her to answer it, I'm gonna have a bigger gap. If my physio isn't converting from discovery visits at the way or the level that I need him or her to do so, I'm gonna have a big gap. I'm gonna to need to build a big bridge. And if I let that performance uh, decrease over time, then that bridge that I'm gonna to have to build eventually is gonna be even bigger. So by having targets and by having clearly defined outcomes, which act as my guide towards achieving the financial outcome that I wanna achieve, I know how to jump in and facilitate what I call a growth conversation with my staff that you as a business owner must be doing. And before you can have the growth conversations, you must know exactly what you want to achieve, which could be a million dollars, and then how you're going to achieve it, which is your patient visit average, which is your average patient spend, which is your leads to conversion ratio, which is your arrival ratio, understanding how an each, every single member of your team is responsible for which one and then holding them accountable for it so that they assist you to actually achieving the bigger $1 million goal. So to wrap up and to answer your question, if you don't have targets, you'll never know where you are. You'll never be able to have the type of conversation that actually takes a business, a team, a, uh, an organization, um, a, a private practice, uh, towards its goals and you'll always be quite uh, figuratively um, uh, swimming the wrong way um, up the river.